peace and blessings. It's Martha Messenger back with another video. This one's gonna be about if you're a chosen one, it's a very crucial, it's very important to stay low key, stay out the mix, and just walk your own path. Don't worry about the next man, don't worry about the next person. Do what God has you to be doing on the kingdom of God, focusing on that, and that's it. Anything else, 100% distraction, okay? The tears are manifesting. What are the tears? Satan's children, okay? What Satan's children are gonna be used to attack you, to hurt you. That's what they're gonna be used to do. And, and many people, they, they can't see. It's like, that's why it's a blessing to see, but at the same time, it's like, damn, like, ah, why, why? Give other people so they can see what I can see too. But not everyone is a seer, okay? I'm telling y'all, man. You have to know a tree by its fruits. A good tree can't bear bad fruit. What Satan's going to do, he's going to use his children. He's going to use someone in darkness. Okay, just try to be friends with you, hit you up every day, want to hang out with you. It's all fake. Fake love. I'm telling y'all, man. I, I, I've been backstabbed by many snakes on this walk. Maybe I could think of three devils. I could think of three snakes that backstabbed me. And all, all it takes, remember, there's a saying that uh, fool, fool me once, shame on me. Or fool me, once, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me a second time, shame on you. Or I think it's the other way around. But yeah, the second time it's just shame on me because it's like, bro, I already knew. We already knew. We already knew you were an agent. We already knew you were down for the bees. Okay. Whoa, whoa. I'm preaching, bro. I don't give a damn if they get, if they get me out of here. Man. I don't care, bro. We already know you're down with the devil, bro. Most of these people are agents. Most of these people are going to be, if you're a child of God, if you're if you're advancing the kingdom of God, you're setting people free from the bondage of, of, of pornography, uh, drugs, uh, sex addiction. You're setting people free. You're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You're a threat to Satan. What is he gonna do? He's gonna use his children, his, the snake, the Judas, the Jezebel, the succubus, to come in your life, to drain your energy, to suck the force out of you, to falsely accuse you, to team up with other agents because you're just too, as a chosen one, you're just too strong. So they got to get other agents to try to destroy you. That's how it works. Satan is a coward. His children are cowards too. We preaching today. Woo! I've been telling you, man, the tone one, just stay low key, bro. It's not, it's not worth it. A lot of people I've noticed, right? Always hitting me up every single day. Always trying, to, always trying to hang out with me. A lot of the times these people were agents. A lot of these times people they were being used by saying to be to be my friend, to be close with me. And then I now I have a soul tie with them. Now a soul tie, guys, even the Bible talks about how in David had a soul tie with um with uh with Saul. You know, and, and soul ties that's not just always linked to um it's not always linked to sex. It's like you love a brother as your own, you know? And, it, and then now you love someone as your own, and now they and now they betray you. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt, bro. Just same thing with the female. It's gonna hurt. Now with the female, it might be a little more different because you guys were, you know, actual had a soul tie. But it's still gonna hurt with a friend too, or someone you call a brother. These are Judases, man. And like I said too, not everyone who who because we can't be paranoia. We have to have discernment. We have to operate in wisdom. Not everyone who comes your way is an agent, child of the devil. But just on this walk, I notice when I'm fired up. When the Holy Spirit is burning, woo! I'm fired up, all right? So the devil, he has to, he, if, he, if he can't get me in my dreams, right? With a succubus, like a wet dream, I'll make a video about that uh, later on today. Yeah, the devil, he's trying, <laughs> but I'm just too strong. Woo, I'm just too strong. Christ is holding me up. The most high God is uplifting me. Woo! The devil's mad. Woo! Every day, guys, every single day you wake up, you want to make sure the devil's pissed off. And the devil's not attacking you. You got to really question, what are you doing for God's kingdom? What are you doing to not make it? Because if you're doing the right thing, he's going to get pissed off. He's going to get mad. He's going to have to use somebody. So like I said, if he can't get you in your dreams, he can't get you, uh, let's say like maybe like you uh, get you to fall into your temptations. Okay. Because God doesn't tempt us. So if he should attempt you with like, you know, well, whatever, whatever the case may be, anything that your fleshly lust that you battle with, if he can't get you that, he's going to get you with a so-called friend, a so-called brother, a so-called sister. They're going to be used to attack you, bro. And they won't even know that they're being used. They won't even know because the love of God doesn't dwell within them. That's why the Bible even says he who hates his brother is in darkness. Even until now, you got people calling, your, calling them. Oh yeah, that's my brother. That's my brother. And the next day they're being used to attack you. It's because they're in darkness. Okay, I'm going to leave scriptures throughout this whole video because I'm a teacher, I'm a preacher, and I'm walking in my calling. Woo! I'm walking in my calling, bro. I'm telling you, man. There's people hitting me up. Oh, Mark, let's do videos together. Nah, bro. There's a lot of times I, do, I, I put people on, they backstab me. 
You know, saying shoot, like I can't stand saying shoot. I can't stand them, bro. I can't stand them. If I ever saw them, oh, 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 that kind of hurts, you know? It's like, what the heck? Especially if it's someone I put on in a position to get more subscribers, more views, and now you try to, you know, play me like that. It's just, it's just Satan's children. They're manifesting. And one thing, guys, about the wheat and the tares, look it up on Google after this video, okay? If you look it up, but we, now Christ, he spoke in parables. Why? Because he knew that most people were simple-minded. He knew that most people in the natural man, they weren't able to understand spiritual things. So he spoke to people in parables, okay? A wheat and a tear. If you look at a wheat and a tear, they look very, very similar. They look the damn same. Okay, so that means that Satan's children and God's children, they look the same too. Satan's children can go to church. Satan's, uh, Satan's children can make chosen one videos. I'm telling you, it's a huge deception. If you don't have to know the sermon, it's too bad, man. It's too, maybe you're just on the chosen one because God let the sun just shine on me now. Woohoo! That's one of the first things God will give you because it's a lot of deception out here. God has to give you the sermon, man. So if you haven't had no discernment, it's time to pray and ask God for the gift. It's time to be convenient, uh, to, to convey spiritual gifts. Stop conveying these things of this world. Stop lusting after material things. You, you, should be, you should be wanting to desire spiritual gifts, the gift of prophecy, the gift of um, healing, teaching, wisdom, knowledge. That's what a chosen one in these last days we should be seeking as much as anything else. Now, of course, seek God. Of course, seek the Holy Spirit. That's the obvious, but it's not obvious to, to people to be seeking wisdom, to be seeking spiritual gifts. That's the things that we should be desiring. Don't let this material world fool you. This is all a matrix. It's all a program. When people are being used to attack you, it's a program. It's, that's what it is. And you are you be advancing the kingdom of God. You're a glitch in the matrix. You're a threat to the matrix. You're setting people free. The devil doesn't like that. He's pissed off. He's angry. He's mad. Let me use my let me, uh, saying. Let me use his children and try to, to try to drain you of your energy. Because best believe, energy is very is very real. Okay. Every time someone heard me. I felt drained. I felt, that's why I'm not building with nobody. That's the most I got puts it in my soul, my spirit. All right, I'm going to build with you. Okay? But until then, hell not. Because I know about spiritual warfare. I'm wise. I'm a child of wisdom. Everyone knows that by now. If you don't know that right now, that's too bad. I'm a child of wisdom. And I'm going to always be boasting wisdom, bro. Because she's the one who got me here, bro. She's the one who put me on to make these videos, man. So I'm always going to be praising wisdom. Thank you, Lord. And that's what you need, too. Because if you don't have no wisdom, you won't be able to discern who's a child of God and who's a child of them. You won't be able to discern the fake and the real, bro. Tony, these last days, you're going to see this more and more, guys. You're going to see this more and more. Satan's children are going to continue manifesting. You got to stay low key out here. Okay? Find a, find a small circle. And you got to understand this too. Jesus had a circle and there was a devil too. So it's like, damn, who can you trust? Who in the hell can you trust in these last days, man? Not many. Get you a wife. Fear God so God can give you that wife who fears him too. So it could be a connection. And I mean, true. I just say, you know, not, not to say you can't have no friends because we need friends. I'm not here to discredit that. We need friends. But you just got to know who the... If, if you're about the kingdom of God, your friends got to be about the kingdom of God too. Okay? It has to. They can't be about the world doing worldly things or being lukewarm, double-minded. Hey, it ain't going to work, bro. It is not going to work. Okay? I only have... I can count all my friends on one hand. There's only one... One real friend that I got. Anyone else, I don't really, they're just associates them in my life, straight up. I'm telling you guys, I've been hurt, I've been played, I've been used by people I, I would never expect. And it was just a spiritual attack because I'm just too strong. I'm not gonna give in to my temptation. I'm not gonna give in to, to drug use, uh, sexual immorality. I'm not gonna give in to that, bro. I'm not. So, you know, you gotta use these weak vessels, organic portals, NPCs, bots. Matrix bots. He's gonna use them. And these matrix bots, these organic portals, they could they could get on online and look holy and preach the Bible, you know, go to church. It's a deception. Okay, even the Bible says that, you know, uh Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, and his ministers do the same thing too. So if you don't have no discernment, you won't be able to discern a child of the devil, man. I'm telling you guys, it's a, it's very crucial in these last days, especially in these last days, as we get closer to the end, there's gonna there's a battle for your soul. The devil wants to attack your mind. He's going to use people to attack you. And they won't even know they're being used, man. They won't even know it. They won't even know it. Fools. 
when you're opening demonic doors, when you're watching pornography, when, or when, you, when you're committing sin behind closed doors, it's, it's going to be shown into light. Now you can, now you hate on a, a chosen one, it's coming to the light. Your darkness is being revealed. You're exposing yourself. But people are sheep. People are goats, so they can't see it. They don't got. They don't. Have, they don't have no wisdom to understand. Okay, this is just someone that's being used. This is just a child of you know a Satan, and they're just manifesting, and they're going to continue manifesting more and more and more. These religious spirits, these re overly religious people, they're going to start manifesting more as a Pharisee. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay, back then the Pharisees were Hebrews, or you know, a my skin color. Nowadays, that spirit is plaguing all Gentiles, white, Mexican, Asian. Oh, it doesn't matter, bro. That's a spirit. It's jumping in and out of people. In and out of people, man. So please understand, stay low key. Stay out the mix. Don't don't worry about, if you see other people living their best life, that's cool. Your time will come too. God will bless you too. He might make you, know, make you take you a trip to Jamaica. Um, it might take you a trip somewhere. Somewhere, just wait on God, bro. I'm telling you, just see God's kingdom first, his righteousness. Things will be added to you. Tony, go, uh, hanging out with all these people as a chosen one, as you're advancing the kingdom of God, the sun is shining on me. Woo! When you're doing that, bro, I'm telling you, it ain't even worth it, bro. It ain't. Because there's a lot of times, guys, where people who I invested into, people who I went out of my way to help, talking on the phone three, four hours, just giving them knowledge, giving them wisdom. These same people betray me. People who I fasted with, man. People who I went out of my way. That's why when I do my consolation calls, I, I charge because it's like, what the heck? I'm gonna spend all my time helping someone just for them to betray me. Nah, I, I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some money off that, bro. Straight up. People can hate all they want. All the time, bro, and I'll never get that back. And you know, some of these people, they still never, and they, and they know what they did, they were wrong. They, they still never apologize. It's because Satan's, Satan's in them. They can't, so you think Satan is gonna apologize to God? All the destruction he brought in? Remember, Satan's, Satan is just like, uh, his children are just like him. You think Satan's a coward? You really think he's gonna tell, um, he's gonna tell uh, God, God, I'm sorry, or forgive me for all people I'm saying this to hell? Hell nah, he ain't gonna apologize, it ain't in them. Just like it's not in his children to apologize too. They're fucked up with pride. Okay, Satan wanted to be God. He, he has pride, so his children have the same thing too. They're not gonna, and they'll know within their conscience. Just like Judas, when he betrayed a child of Satan, another child, he, when he betrayed a Christ, when he, when he, 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 he even he had that guilty conscience. That's why he, he killed himself. Now the Most High, he judged him. You know, a lot of people don't know this. The Most High put a spirit on Judas to kill himself because you don't go against the chosen one without a judgment. Best believe. We know about uh, the Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse uh, 1 to 7. Your enemies will come at you seven ways, and Most High will destroy it. Woo -hoo! The Most High, he battled. The Most High is your battle axe. He's going to destroy all your enemies, all the false accusations, all of them. Focus on him. Don't let the distractions, because that's they're all just being used by the enemy. They're all just being used by saying we gotta have wisdom, we gotta have knowledge, we gotta have understanding. How much? How long will fools hate knowledge, bro? How long? Now I understand wisdom speaking, bro. How long? They're going to always go against the chosen ones. Why? Because they went against Jesus, the, the first chosen one. Or I'm not going to say the first because David was a chosen one. But, you know, another chosen one, okay? They're going to go against you, bro. The, the servant is not better than the master. Prepare. All right, no one said this walk is going to be easy. No one did. You got to endure our hardships. You got to endure afflictions. People are being used by Satan. Understand that. It's a spiritual. You got to go into spiritual warfare with a spiritual mindset. Don't go at this with a carnal mindset, okay? People are being used. Stay low key. Hey, on the weekend when you see everyone out, it's cool just to chill at your house for, you know, for a little bit, man. It's cool just to chill with your wife or maybe, you know, watch some YouTube videos because YouTube is a new TV. Hey, well, watch some educational videos. This is an educational video, okay? Enlighten yourself. Read your word. Meditate on the word. Take a shower. Meditate on the scripture. Focus on the kingdom. Focus on seeking his kingdom. Focus on the righteousness. Forget about these so-called, most of these so-called friends, bro. I'm telling you, they're snakes. They're going to be used to backstab you. I'm so glad that I, I cut all snakes out of my life. And I'm telling you, that's peace. Woo! I can, woo! The energy's up. I feel good. Woo! Okay? Cut off all the snakes. I, and there's a snake. There's one snake. I can, I, <laughs> And I cut his ass off. I cut his ass off too, bro. Yeah, I ain't you ain't coming my circle, bro. Once I get any signs, any worldliness in someone, I'm out. I'm gone. Peace, Mark the Messenger. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.